I am Lena and I live in Stockholm. I moved to Stockholm in October 2022 from Ukraine. So I come originally from the Pacific Northwest in the US, specifically just north of Portland, Oregon, but actually on the Washington side of the, the state border. Maybe that's too, too much information, but if you want to get really specific, Vancouver, Washington. Hello everyone, my name is Jess Lee. I was born in Taiwan. I have lived in Hong Kong, Taiwan, Los Angeles, uh, and Paris, France before I moved to Sweden. Hi, my name is Patricia and I'm originally from uh, Venezuela and I have been in Sweden for almost 10 years. I uh, totally ruined my first impression of the city, unfortunately. So I can uh, give you bad advices how to not plan your first trip in Stockholm. So first, please don't plan it in the late January, start of February, because it's the gloomiest, the darkest timing in Sweden, that's all. Uh, and it was exactly my first trip here. But this year, when I live uh, in Sweden uh, during summer, I finally can enjoy and understand why people decide to move here, to live here, to stay here. My initial impression of Sweden was that it was a beautiful, clean, green country. And I came here for the first time in June, like a couple days after the longest day of the year. Uh, so even in Stockholm then, like the sun would be up until 10, 30, 11 at night and come up at like two, three in the morning. And I had never been ever in a place before where the days were so long. Uh, and also when you come to Sweden in the summertime, everyone's so happy. And you don't know really why until you're here in the wintertime. And then you're like, oh, now I see why in June everyone's so happy. Uh, so it's just really, really positive energy uh, from my first impression. And one thing that really I didn't understand, like how to read, was the schedule of the buses and what do they mean? Because the majority are in, in, in Swedish, of course, and they have different uh, schedules. And then depending also if it's summer or winter, also they change. And I'm thinking the clear air that uh, Mexico City is uh, polluted and it's kind of gray and you feel like you're breathing not clean air or pure air and then when we landed in Stockholm it was super super clear and super I mean it, it was clean and, and pure so it was kind of a different feeling. Mit första intryck of Sverige var duften of kanelbullar från pressbyrån och det soliga vädret. After the Viserian Brun, through the years, so the constant regnade or were distant in Sverige. You mark the also finds monga stiliga menichor. Og deras visa se i enkla grundlegande saker, so the inte too much. Jag blev också imponerad av hur säkert svenska nationer i Sverige. Uh, der föraren alltid låter fotgenare passera. I Ukraina måste jag vara extra försiktig eftersom så vi ofta kör väldigt fort. My name is Angelina and I'm originally from Chicago. I moved to Stockholm about three years ago and before coming here I had the impression that Sweden was a really liberal, open-minded and welcoming country. But since coming here, I've realized that that idealized view of the Nordics is not completely accurate. I think it's really hard to be an immigrant here and to find a job and friends and just feel a sense of belonging. It can be really isolating here. Hola, soy de Argentina y mi primera impresión de Suecia es que es muy frío. Yo llegué en invierno y vi a toda la gente vestida de negro. Me pareció un poco aburrido, pero por lo contrario, en verano es lo opuesto. Es muy lindo y naturaleza por todos lados y me super gusta. Um, uh, I guess something that I miss is the diversity. I am someone who really like variety, try new things, and um, having uh, the diversity is really important for me. Just to be able to see different things, try different things. 
um, experience different things and that's what I find a bit limited here. There's a lot of similarities between the US and Sweden from a cultural perspective. Um, so for one, like a lot of pop culture in Sweden is heavily influenced by American pop culture. If you look at music, if you look at movies, TV shows, um, they don't even dub any of the stuff. It's all um, basically in English when you turn on the TV a lot of times for a lot of programs. Uh, so a lot of the cultural aspects are the same, but I would say one distinct difference is that people in Sweden have a very community uh, mindset, whereas the U.S. is a little bit more individualistic. Um, so for example, you see it in uh, the work culture, where there's a lot of group discussions, everyone's giving input, um, and we always want to like succeed and win as a team. Uh, whereas being in the US, sometimes it can come off as it's like this every man for himself mentality. Everyone is responsible for their own health care. Everyone's responsible for like making money and, and like the, there's this hustle culture. Like people are working hard and, and Americans are known for working really hard, I'd say. But in Sweden, it's just like a little bit more chill, like more relaxed society. The main cultural difference that they feel between Ukrainians and uh, Swedes. First, it's uh, advanced planning. So I uh, impressed how Swedes carefully plan their pension plans, how carefully and advanced they book their vacations. People know where they will uh, stay in the two years. So it's impressive for me. Second, it's uh, attitude around healthcare and uh, healthy lifestyle. So uh, now I try to copycat a bit sweets because uh, I also want to regularly go for a gym, to go for a walk, to spend more time on nature, because it's exactly what, uh, it's a pillar how to maintain your healthy lifestyle. In cuanto al choque cultural respecto a mi país de origen, es en cuanto a lo laboral. Acá mínimo te dan 25 días de vacaciones y además cuentan con un programa para que vos te unas a actividades fuera del trabajo, por ejemplo a clubes, a deportes y te dan dinero para que vos puedas unirte. Algo muy bueno que estaría bueno que Argentina también lo tuviera. The, the first thing is that people here don't hug and in Mexico you kiss. So, I mean, people here hug and in Mexico you kiss. Uh, in the cheek uh, and with uh, the difference between Mexico and Venezuela with Spain for example is that they give two kisses and in Latin America we give one but in Sweden you just hug and if you don't know the person you maybe you strike the hand to the front uh, but or say hi by distance but uh, or even though they don't use the hands they just stand up and say hi that's it so if you are like really lo closer to the person, then you hug. And if you are not, then you say hi from the distance. People tend to have short conversations. So you, do, you cannot stand for one hour and talk. And for example, for a Latin American person like me, Venezuelan and Mexican, eh, people tend to talk a lot. So less in Mexico, more in Venezuela, but uh, then you cannot have one hour conversations or 30 minute conversation in, on the buses or standing up or waiting for the bus. The most important thing between Swedish and Ukrainians, as I noticed, is the understanding of Svenskar visar äh, aldrig starka känslor och ger dig inte sin direkt åsikt om äh, de inte gillar någon. På arbetsplats är negativ feedback alltid framför på ett personligt och icke anklagande sätt. Dessutom gillar svenskarna långa diskussioner. På jobbet kan äh, man spendera hela dagen på uh, mötet, på möten. Allt uh, detta eftersom svenskarna vill höra uh, alla åsikter och uh, komma överens med alla. Och det är ibland uh, helt galen. <laughs> och uh, den sista biten. Ingen kommer någonsin no att uh, ta den sista biten av torta eller godis. 
och uh, vänskap. Uh, en svensk kompis uh, kan försvinna ut uh, ditt liv utan förklaring, plötsligt. Trots att ni har pratat under en lång tid. Having a walk in the forest and just being able to be surrounded by the trees are definitely my favorite, favorite thing to do. The forests here, I find them super magical than anywhere else. Uh, every time when I have a walk in the forest, I feel like there are elves hiding behind the trees. This is something that I have not been able to find anywhere else. Also, I feel very safe here. I mean, comparing to Paris. So everywhere I go, even when I go out at night or um, travel at night by myself alone, I never feel danger around me. And like in Paris, I was always vigilant and uh, have to be aware of pickpockets everywhere. So this is something that I like about Sweden. Also, I find that people seem to trust other people a lot. That uh, people that I encounter, um, people are just very um, authentic and they say what they um, think that I don't have to worry about them not telling me the truth or something. That's, that's my personal experience, so. I think one of the biggest differences between the US and Sweden is that in the US, it's a lot more casually social. Like if you go to the grocery store, you're really likely to have a conversation with a stranger. And that doesn't ever happen in Sweden from my experience. So I think in the US, it can feel a lot less lonely when you're talking to people all the time. Um, but yeah, I think it's really hard to be an immigrant. So I admire everyone who's out there trying to start a new life for themselves. It's really challenging.